my lawnmower blade changing video, um, I had some comments, some guys suggesting that I get a lift instead of using the ramp that I was using um, for safety reasons and also efficiency. And as always, you know, I, I read those comments and take them into consideration. And it's important that you guys know that I do pay attention to that. So I picked this up at Harbor Freight. and It weighs about 120 pounds. But it is a, uh, depending on which, which way you have it set up, uh, you, have, you have two different ways you can set it up. That's the saddle type, okay, like you'd use for, uh, for an ATV. And then this is the H-frame setup, and you can see there they show it with a, a zero-turn mower on it. And set up as an H-frame, it has a 750-pound capacity saddle, saddle type, 500 pounds. Uh, it'll lift 23 inches, so that's definitely up there high enough to, to get under and work on it. You can use it for ATVs, yard tractors, golf carts, mowers utility vehicles, service vehicles, adaptable six-way six -way saddle depth and 11-way adjustable saddle width for any job, uh, stability, integral load limiter prevents overload, three-way safety lock for rock-solid support, and strength heavy-duty hydraulic ram lifts up to 750 pounds. So, and it claims the most versatile jack in its class. And this is Fisher, Fisher brand. So anyway, um, they had one on display. I looked it over. I really liked it. Uh, liked the way it was put together. It just it looks like it's definitely strong and durable. Um, they had it priced at two. I believe it was two ten after tax. You know about two twenty, and that's pretty comparable to the other jacks that I've seen. Um, Actually, some of them are quite a bit higher than that. So I'm excited to get this thing out of the box and try it out. Let's get this opened up and see how much we have to put together. Hardware kit. Okay. Wheels. Those are uh, solid. They're rubber, but they're solid. Okay. 
assembly starts with the base. We need the two bolts that have the regular nuts and the lock washers. The uh, two bolts with the lock nuts are for something else. They're going to be three quarter inch, the nut and the bolt. this rod with the cut downs on the end. things together there and they each get a washer and then a cotter pin Now that's on, this gets attached next. Okay, it's not too terrible. Washer.
Okay, these take this pin. Okay. Now, of course, these adjust in and out, so depending on the width of your piece of equipment. Then these. There's the pump. And then this foot pedal is going to go in here and bolt in. And those are the two pins I'm going to need to mount it on. Finally, I had to get that jack in just the right position where I could slide the pin through. And then it gets a wa washer and an R-pin on both sides. Okay, now... Pretty nice handle, and it's got threaded holes. You're going to have a bolt, washer, and a lock washer on each one. Okay, these bolts are 5 8 inch. These two bolts with the lock nuts for the wheels.
So it's all assembled and I'll do a quick demonstration. Okay, so first we release the safety latches on the lower pedal. Lowers it. And before you go up, you release your safeties. So you're at the you're at the maximum height. Made a heck of a mess, but uh, that is pretty cool. So I'll let that back down real quick and uh, show you how to dolly it. But man, that's going to be nice for changing blades and working on my four wheeler. Okay. Once down. There you go. Wheel it around however you like. As you can see, it works quite well. I will uh, get around in front of it so you can see what it looks like from the front, but it's pretty awesome. Here we are in the front. You're supposed to run a, a safety strap from here to the front of your unit, and that keeps it positioned properly. But I didn't do that, so. I'll have to do that if I'm actually working on something, but there you go. Um, that is every bit as much space to work as I had before, and much safer as long as I have the safety strap on there. So, uh, anyway, pretty happy with it, and uh, definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys.